The following is a production of Cary TV, the town of Cary's government access channel. Hello, I'm Harold Weinbreck, Mayor of Cary, and this is Cary Matters, the monthly program designed to help keep you informed about the issues that your council members are working on. Joining me as co-host this month is Ed Yerha. He's one of our at-large representatives, and he's been on the council since last summer. Ed, we appreciate you being here. Well, thanks for asking me. Are you ready to get started on this month's episode? I am. All right, why don't you give us a rundown? Sure. Our big topic for this episode is the bond referendum projects and when they're moving forward. For our Q&A segment, we're going to be answering questions about school resource officers, the downtown park, and our new roundabouts. So let's get started by providing a better understanding of which projects approved with the bond referendum will move forward and when. Okay. Well, on November 6th of last year, the Kerry voters overwhelmingly approved three general obligation bonds total, totaling $80 million for important infrastructure projects, many of which have been delayed for years due to the, to the recession. On December 13th, the Kerry Town Council approved all the actions necessary to appropriate all of the $80 million worth of funding to the special capital projects. With that action, each project now has the expenditure authority in place. So no additional appropriations or related funding actions should be needed as part of this year's upcoming budget process. To put it simply, all projects are moving forward in some way or another. As spending for these projects occurs, the town's revenue will need to increase by raising property tax rates. To lessen the burden, we've divided up the projects and their related spending into two phases so that a two cents tax increase will begin on July 1st of this year to pay for $40 million worth of the projects. And then on July 1st of 2015, we'll have another two cents tax increase to pay for the rest. Each two cents tax increase means that for every $100,000 worth of property value you have, you'll be paying $20 more. So now to answer the question of what projects when. First, a little disclaimer. The timelines we're about to give are our best estimates at the time of this taping. So to start, the $6.5 million fire station bond will allow building of a new fire station to replace fire station number two on Maynard Road. Construction should begin this year and should be completed with our fingers crossed by 2014. Well, that's good news. And that'll serve the needs of our growing downtown for years to come. Absolutely. The $57.7 million transportation bond will allow for traffic signal upgrades, intersection and street improvements, new sidewalks, the Carpenter Fire Station Road Bridge, the Green Level West Road and Walnut Street improvements, bicycle facilities and streetscape improvements on Academy Street. The first phase of improvements will begin this year and will include the street resurfacing projects scheduled to begin already in June. Additional transportation projects beginning this year include several intersection improvements, the signal system upgrades, the sidewalks, and the bicycle facilities. But other more complicated transportation projects will have the design phase beginning this year and construction beginning in 2015. These include the Carpenter Fire Station Bridge, the Green Level West Road Widening, and the Walnut Street Overpass Improvements. One project, the streetscape improvements on Academy Street downtown, should begin with infrastructure improvements in 2014 and will be completed in 2015. Okay, very good. And then we have the parks bond projects. Bartlett Par Bartley Park and Carpenter Park should move into design this year with construction beginning 
being completed probably around 2015 sometime. The downtown park is under citizen review right now, and it should be finalized by this time next year and built in 2015. Mills Park should be finished around 2016. And several other projects from the park's bond will also move forward. We expect to see natural turf replaced at several parks with synthetic turf beginning design this year. This synthetic turf, as you know, will allow two to three times the normal amount of play. Greenway projects will see construction beginning around 2015. This includes connecting all remaining segments of the White Oak Greenway, which should be completed in 2016. The Panther Creek Greenway from Green Level Church Road to Cameron Pond to I-540 will begin design in 2014 and should be constructed by 2016. Certainly is an exciting time for Cary. We have a lot to look forward to. We sure do, and it's an exciting time for me just to think about all the things that are coming forth. Well, we'll tackle some of the questions we've been getting from you right after the break. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. It's like, hello, that's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. So school's out and you're looking for ways to keep your kids entertained and happy? Cary offers camps and programs that appeal to even the most unique imagination. Get the schools out 411 from the pros. Camp was a lot of fun and I loved the teachers. I learned a lot of fun things. I really enjoyed camp. Camp because I made lots of new friends. I love it when the kids come to class and they have so much fun. I love making new friends. The town of Cary has the 411 when school's out. Registration starts February 7th. Camps fill quickly. So, I got this new family, and I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy. Oh, and she even talks to it. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. We're back. Thanks for staying with us. It's time now for us to address some of the questions the council's been getting from you. Ed, what do you have? Well, the first question is a tough one. Since the tragic school shooting in Connecticut, we've received questions about school security and school resource officers, particularly in elementary schools. That's a very, very tough question. You know, the tragic events in Connecticut was unbelievable to me, and it's really hard to and difficult to think about even today. But to answer the question, the town of Cary began funding school resource officers in 2003. And at that point, we did have officers in the elementary school, but after a few years and based on input from our police department, we decided to discontinue that practice. Our school resource team totals 11 officers comprised of one lieutenant and 10 officers. The 10 officers are assigned to four high schools and six middle schools with one dedicated to each school. Now the lieutenant typically ends up going to one school or another, rotating to cover the officers that have to be out. Cary does not have school resource officers in our 20 elementary schools in town. Now the state of North Carolina only provides a stipend annually through Wake County to help cover some of the costs for each of the four high schools uh, for the resource officers. And that's only $37,838 out of a total of $151,352 per year. The town of Cary funds the remainder of the costs for the high school officers and all of the middle school officers. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that Cary pays more of the share of costs for these services than any other community in Wake County. Why is that? Well, that's absolutely true, and that's a story for another day. Oh, well, okay. Well, let's get back to today then. Okay. We've also received some questions about the downtown park. Mm -hmm. People want to know when we're going to make a decision on exactly what's going to be built and when we're going to build it. Well, 
Staff will be presenting the results of the charrette to the towns, boards, and commissions, Heart of Cary Association, and at community meetings during the winter and spring. The schedule is to issue the project proposal later this month. And we should have a design team on board by late spring. One of the first steps will be to hold a public meeting which should occur by the summer. The master plan process for the town center park is to, going to take about 12 months with a proposal going back to council in the winter of next year. Construction should begin sometime in 2015 and hopefully be completed by lazy days of that, that year and that would be exciting to have it at that time. So you have any other questions? Actually, yes. Okay. We also received some questions about Carrie's roundabouts. People have asked when the construction will begin and when it will end. They also want to know if these roundabouts will be like the ones that Raleigh had and had to change recently. And if you don't mind, I'll take this one. Okay, have at it. We kicked off the construction on January 23rd with our project groundbreaking. And the construction is scheduled for about 150 days. Cary's roundabouts will be different than Raleigh's. They're simpler with one circulatory lane and one lane on each approach. Our roundabouts are also smaller with 120 foot diameters compared to the dual lane roundabout with 150 foot diameters. Believe it or not, Cary currently has about a dozen roundabouts throughout the town. Wow. We're considering additional ones at the interchange ramps for the future Morrisville Parkway and NC 540. Putting roundabouts there might allow the interchange to be built without having to widen the existing bridge over 540. And that could save a lot of money, a lot of time, and even more than that, a lot of aggravation. Amen to that. Well, after the break, we're gonna give you some insights into what's coming up at Town Hall and how you can be involved and included. to run our dishwasher before it's full. 400 gallons of water are wasted each month when people run appliances that aren't fully loaded. Uh, I don't have any more dirty dishes. Well, when I was in your bedroom, I found these. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so cute. Hmm. By 2013, it's estimated that 36 states will face water shortages. So every little bit helps. Sorry, is that my scarf? Save water today. For more water saving tips, go to savewatertoday.org. Sixty minutes of physical activity a day and eating well can help get your child healthy. So keep them active and eating well every day. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. That's letsmove.gov. We're back. In this final segment of Carry Matters, we want to talk about what's happening in February and how you can be involved. Ed? Well, this month we have one work session and two council meetings scheduled. Our work session will be held on Tuesday, February 26th. The topic for the work session was not yet finalized at the time of this taping. But our two regularly scheduled council meetings for February are going to be a little different. They'll be on Wednesdays instead of the normal Thursdays. The first meeting is on February 13th, and the second will be on February 27th. I think that's it. Well, Anything else to add? Actually, two things. In addition to Valentine's Day, I have two other things. First, February is our month of public input for next year's budget. So post your priorities to the town's Facebook page or tweet us. You can speak directly to us at either of our two council meetings this month, and we do accept comments via email. Second thing, on February 11th, I'll be traveling to Washington. Representing Kerry in talks with congressional leaders and federal agencies about federal funding for local projects. This is a very important meeting and trip for the town of Kerry. 
as we try to get our fair share to help pay for everything from police officers to technology to environmental initiatives. Good luck with that trip. Thank you. I'll need it. And that's about it for this edition of Carry Matters. We appreciate your watching and we hope that what we've shared has been of interest. Please let us hear from you. Your time is important and as always we want this show to be of value to you as we work to bring you, our citizens, closer to your government. And remember, help keep Cary litter-free, clean, green, and beautiful by volunteering with our Spruce program. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for choosing to call Cary home. This has been a production of Cary TV. Visit the Town of Cary's website at townofcary.org.